Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I too rise and uh, congratulate my colleague from Michigan. Uh, uh, the long and distinguished career of Mr. Dingell is to be congratulated by all of us, but today I rise in strong opposition to what is working its way back to the floor of this House in the form of a so-called stimulus package. This package will stimulate big government. It is not going to stimulate our economy. Uh, and uh, uh, with regard to the comments of the gentleman from Oregon, let me just say that I would invite all of my colleagues and uh, everyone in the country to look at what is in this legislation, and they will see that this is all about growing the size of government, not creating jobs uh, to grow our economy. And I would invite people to look at the Republican alternative, which we have offered, which costs half as much money and is projected to create twice as many jobs. That's what people want. That's what people understand. They want to see the great engine of growth in this country, the small businesses empowered by the kinds of incentives that are contained in our legislation to create the jobs that are needed in this country, oppose the stimulus. This is not the way to rebuild the American economy. Gentlemen's time has expired.